Hello guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kohl. I hope you guys are all doing good. So today's topic which I'll explain you is about BMC problem management. You know, uh, I have already given you an overview of incident management, change management. And now, today uh, we will see uh, one of other modules from ITSM called problem management. Okay, so it is it's a it's a very important uh, you know aspect of ITL process, the problem management or the problem management process. So uh, today we will we will go through this tool. I'll explain you uh, how in BMC Remedy this problem management is used. What are the you know different uh, ways of using a problem management, or uh, how it is different from the existing incident management. Basically, we will see a, a difference, we will understand the difference between incident and problem. So normally it happens uh, like some uh, people always have a query in back of their mind that uh, if there is an incident management, we are addressing incidents in the, uh, you know, uh, in that tool, why there is a problem management. And in, I have seen it across, uh, you know, organizations, people are not using uh, problem management to the core. They are not using it in, you know, full depth. Uh, the issue with it that is that uh, people are not understanding the problem management process but if you understand it well it's very easy to implement along with the incident management process and it gives you a you know uh, a very good uh, uh, or very um, uh, detailed process setup in your organization which will help definitely the people you are supporting or the operation so let's get started okay Now uh, to go to the problem management uh, console, for we can go it from here. It's a normal, uh, you know, navigational process. From here, you can go to this problem management console, or if from here directly, you can create a new uh, problem. So I'm already on the problem management console. I will not explain you the console because it's all similar to incident and change. I have already detailed it out. You can uh, check my other videos for that. So we'll directly go on the problem management. So now to create a new problem, let me go here. So it will open up a new page for the problem management. Now uh, let me give you a just a basic understanding of problem management. So you know we have incident management application which is there to gather incidents or which is used to create you know incidents in the system. Now uh, for example I'll tell you a scenario. For example the, in an organization there is a part particular location or a particular location network is down that means that location is being you know affected so people fr from that location will basically raise incidents they will raise complaints some uh, it may be uh, the issues will be related to emails or to the net to the network or some other issues like there maybe they're accessing some applications where this uh, which uh, for which the servers are located in those locations and definitely there will be a network issue in so uh, now this, uh, for example, this team, which which is a, you know, that particular location has been affected. So people from that location will start raising an incidents. So there will be incidents related to email. There will be incidents related to some other thing. And it's not only one incident we'll receive. We'll receive multiple incidents. So now, so we have to address all these incidents one by one. So now what, uh, you know, my ITL process says that if you have such a scenario, then in that case, uh, what you can do, you can correlate all these incidents and put them in a single problem so that you can address them in one go. For example, uh, if let's suppose my location has around 100 users, so I will receive 100 incidents. So it's very difficult for uh, me as an, you know, as an operation to manage this. So what I will do? Uh, either I will go and uh, you know ask everybody to raise an incident and close it or I can ask let's suppose there are already 50 to 60 incidents created I will not you know um, uh, you know going further I will not uh, 
give uh, you know importance to the other incidents which have been raised by the other users so what we can do we can correlate all these incidents and then we can uh, put all these uh, incidents in a single problem so we can create a problem ticket so you can see here investigation driver for a problem ticket so investigation driver for a problem ticket means that from where this uh, problem is generate what was the reason that we created this problem so we can say a high impact incident sometimes it might happen that there is a single incident and uh, but it is impacting a very critical business operation then we can say is a high impact incident then a recurring incidents so recurring incidents is a case which i was discussing with you that people are continuously um, raising incidents for a let's suppose that that particular network issue so we know the problem so we have identified the problem we know the problem that there's an issue with the network so definitely those people will be impacted so then for that case also we can raise a problem to do the further investigation on the problem we have to close the incidents in time as per the SLAs we have to close them but you know investigate it further the problem management comes in picture now let's say for example this the issue with the location so what we will do we will uh, bring back the location we'll fix the issues or we will give them a workaround and we'll close all the incidents but we will create a problem ticket uh, for those incidents and the investigation driver will be recurring incidents then we will do a detailed analysis of that issue we will do a root cause analysis of what why this uh, you know outage occurred why that location went to down why those people were impacted so that is the reason this problem management you know helps us so we can do that thorough in investigation of the issues now let's suppose going ahead with the problem management the first part it's same you will get this problem id then you will have coordinator group who is basically coordinating for the problem then coordinator then uh, you have this uh, problem location then uh, i need to define the service for which i need to so this problem suppose i will say there's an uh, there's an issue with the email service or if uh, we can take an example of our you know uh, what we were discussing about a network so we will say let's say, say so and so location was down let's suppose x just a minute ABC location went down okay so this is my summary of the problem so i will say my location went down for four hours that means that location was down so here i can investigation driver i can select recurring incidents so because i am getting recurring incidents for for that particular location then uh, i have to fill in the other details like what is the impact of this problem for example if it's a big network issue then definitely it will be a high priority problem then um, then i need to decide the target date currently it's optional you can decide it later also but you need to provide the target date by which you will be able to close the problem then ci also i can attach if there is a ci related to a particular network i can then attach so here we are not doing any ci attachments so then uh, for the assigned group i have to select the uh, the assigned group who will uh, basically work on this for example network support i have selected then status is initially draft and i will save this now this is this is a stage where i'm drafting the problem now my problem is saved it's in a draft state now going further the problem will be investigated it will be put to a review first then it will be investigated and then we will provide a resolution so you can see at the top the statuses will be uh, maintained here currently it is in identification and classification phase so here we are classifying the problem what type of the problem this is then once we classify it it will go to the next stage so here from this one okay now you can see if i am not putting any target date i cannot go to the next stage so let me put a target date let's suppose 31st say next now the, it has moved to the review phase now problem is current currently under review so all uh, we will uh, people will uh, review the problem they will see uh, why uh, this you know uh, uh, problem happened or uh, not uh, basically the problem we will uh, review the problem ticket that uh, the information which is provided in the problem ticket is sufficient for us to investigate then once we this we are uh, you know sure on that we will move this to next stage
okay i'll assign it to this problem management now uh, currently this is under investigation okay now uh, we will move this to then because here sorry so now the problem is moved into the investigation and diagnosis phase so here you will do the investigation you will see where the uh, why the problem was um, what was the issue in this case you might create some tasks so you can create tasks and assign it to different teams so there will be tasks created for network team there will be tasks created for some database teams there will be tasks created for some other teams depending upon the type of the problem so those people will work on those tasks they will give their feedbacks and then we will do the you know investigation on that why this problem occurred what was the reason for this and whether we need to do any further upgrades to our um, environment or system so we'll come to know that then once it's identified then we'll go to the next stage which is uh, resolution and recovery so this means we have identified the uh, you know resolution for the problem then we have to mention here okay now the status reason so when you were identify the problem so we need to understand what sort of this problem was whether this was an enhancement request for example the uh, uh, the network you know components are you know old old enough to be replaced so we need to know that um, in that case it's an enhancement request we need to upgrade our network components so then it will become an enhancement similarly if there are certain cases where you know the problem that uh, that there is a, this issue is already there in that particular case and you cannot you know fix it at this point of time then it becomes a known error so everybody knows this maybe there are some you know business implications or there are some other um, uh one or other reasons you know that you cannot fix that then it becomes a known error <clears throat> the other thing is that it goes to a solution database that means you have found a solution it will go to a solution database so we will um uh, check these to uh, this one because in solution database we will provide the solution to the uh, people and if it goes to a known error then the known error known error uh, database will be populated so uh, for example i will select the solution database and then i will save this so the moment i have provided the uh, you know the uh, solution database it will uh, go to the solution database system so here i need to provide my solution here so this is the problem which was defined earlier then i hit to maybe there are some steps to resolve this problem okay so this is done uh, to you know help people who are basically who are who want later uh, this solution to be addressed if suppose again the problem is raised so they can get this you know uh, solution from here itself so it's a searchable you can make it active that means it's active uh, for um, uh, you know people who want to search for it then you have this you can make it internal or external if you made it internal then it will be only accessible to the teams who have access to it then uh, internal teams but if you make it public it is accessible to everybody then i will save it so it will create the solution database entry you can see there is a gen id generated it okay now uh, if you see if i go to the relationship here the solution database entry is related with the problem so now if somebody will open that problem he will see that there's already a solution provided on that and this solution uh, db is also searchable then uh, we can uh, now you can see the problem status is completed so you can go and close the problem now there is one more thing you can do uh, from the problem management or any other module that is that you can perform a search on the knowledge base so i'll show you that also let me click here for example what it will do when you are going to search for it it will take the keywords from your uh, you know from your problem and search for it so i had not given the relevant keywords let me see search something related to network okay i think it's the system is still slow
or uh, we are not getting any relevant searches you can also use this advanced search to perform a search that you want to search on a number of products to get the information you can search on solution databases you can uh, let me include the solution I think it was not included and I will add it let me again open this okay now if there is already a solution here it will uh, populate it here currently it's not populating there isn't anything but it will populate it then you can you can use it you can use it to solve your case you can use your um, knowledge base to be added to the or you can refer to the knowledge base or add it to your problem ticket and solve it that i will show you in uh, some other um, time with knowledge management okay this let me close this so currently i can here type my workaround in the problem or uh, i can give a resolution here and then i will save it then in the next step it will be closed so you can see another problem is once problem is closed then it is we cannot access it we don't make changes we have to in case there is anything else we need to do we need to create a new problem so this was a complete life cycle of a problem management i hope you have understood it you know uh, you have got to know the you know the use of problem management in itsm and why it is different from incident management if you still have any uh, doubts then you can ask me in comments and i would be Happy to reply on that. Thank you. Thanks for watching my videos. Thank you.